<laughs> hey, my name is Jordan Garza and I'm the ensemble director here at Rhythmic Forest Percussion. We are a percussion independent world group based out of Austin, Texas, and are partnering with Marimba One for the second year. At Rhythmic Force, we use the M1 Wave instruments exclusively in the front ensemble and are currently the only independent group to perform on these instruments in Texas. There are so many great features about these instruments, but let me show you what they look like straight out of the box. All right, just grabbing a look at the frames here, you can see that the end frames are connected with one bar that snaps into place with one easy locking mechanism. Um, after that, the resonators slide into place and you can begin putting the rails onto the instruments according to their easy to follow numbering system. After that, you unbox the keys and gently lay them on the instrument. Um, that's about it. You can build one of these wave marimbas in less than 30 minutes. All right, let's talk about what these instruments sound like. Um, what you'll see at Rhythmic Force this season are the M1 Wave instruments. Okay, we're using marimbas equipped with Basso Bravo resonators and enhanced rosewood bars. The front ensemble is using two gold vibraphones, two silver vibraphones, in addition to their new xylophone with enhanced rosewood keys. Um, this combination gives Rhythmic Force an intonation that cannot be matched and some groundbreaking sound quality that I personally have ever heard from a front ensemble. Um, I know percussion directors can probably imagine what an entire front ensemble of Marimba One instruments would sound like, but we've prepared some material so you can check it out. And I hope that you get a chance to check out Rhythmic Force this season to get the live sound of these instruments for yourself. Without giving away too much of our show and work for this season, let's talk about Rhythmic Forest 2021. Our show concept this year derived from the fact that we are doing a virtual production. Um, we were thinking about what things could we do this year that we wouldn't be able to do in years prior. Okay, part one of our show uh, explores the idea of boundaries. <laughs> Which we realized that in, in developing this show that, you know, there were boundaries set on us in previous years that we were having to navigate through and break this year. So our floor is even, you know, a circle, which is abnormal in a normal year. But, you know, that is one of the things that we didn't want there to be a front. We didn't want there to be a side. We didn't want there to be a facing direction. So we chose an environment that we could essentially view from 360 degrees. Right, and one of the quotes that was in our mind uh, in these design meetings was, from the outside looking in, it's hard to understand. And from the inside looking out, it's hard to explain. Um, which is our activity in a nutshell, right? So, uh, you know, we're exploring setups that are very non-traditional, exploring drill with different facings, and you know, there's no front, and all of our stuff was geared towards camera angles and show production. So I hope you enjoy what you see from Rhythmic Force, um, you'll have to catch the rest at one of our shows or at WGI. 
and we look forward to seeing you soon. All right, bye-bye.